just get back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. I'm not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take our order. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take the bread. Here's my first problem with this, y'all. She's walking and talking on her phone to TikTok from the date. That's part of why dating is broken. Let's just start there. We've got to put everything on social media platforms for what? Who are we trying to prove things to? You couldn't go home and record you in the middle of New York City, walking home, recording TikTok videos to describe the date that you are just leaving. y'all it's your girl samantha lee and i'm here to talk to you guys about a video clip called is dating broken it's a reaction to a reaction video which will be the first of many and i'm excited to do it because i think it's gonna be really funny okay but before we jump into that piece of content i want to go ahead and tell my family if you like the content that i'm putting down if you like what i'm dropping i need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button please do i want you guys to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell because I'm putting out content daily and I want you guys not to miss one piece of it, okay? And in addition to that, your girl is starting to go live and I don't want you guys to miss me going live. I love connecting with you guys and being able to have these conversations and go back and forth. And so we kind of get to know each other. So I don't want you guys to miss that. And last but not least, if you see in the description box and in the pinned comment below, there's a link to my free ebook. With that, you'll also be a part of my email list Game Changer Nation, one of the fastest growing nations in all of nationdom. No, I'm just kidding. But it, we are a really fast growing Game Changer Nation, okay? We grew to over 100,000 in less than four months. We doing it, baby. We doing it. And I want you guys to be a part of that. Outside of this, when there's this email list, will get you a part of like appearances. I'll send you guys advice, revelations. Whatever comes to my mind, if there's a video, if there's a panel I'm on, you guys know immediately. So go ahead and hit that button and let's become even bigger than just this. Let's go deeper than the YouTube platform, okay? All right. Anyway, those are the three things I had to hit you guys with. Otherwise than that, let's get into it. You guys, I just got back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. I'm not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take our order. And I said, okay, I'm going to take the bread. Here's my first problem with this, y'all. She's walking and talking on her phone to TikTok from the date. That's part of why dating is broken. Let's just start there. We've got to put everything on social media platforms for what? Who are we trying to prove things to? You couldn't go home and record you in the middle of New York City, walking home, recording TikTok videos to describe the date that you are just leaving. Zeno, and he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the yeah, I don't even know what brand Zeno is, but. Beatrice asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? So how do you like this burger? And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind over there and i'm like what the actual f i'm like okay i'm hungry i'm gonna eat my friends you know and see what happens and he's like oh my god you have to pay extra for everything these days and i'm like yeah it's new york city so i got my Brenzino, he got his burger we were eating and once i was satisfied i got up so you got show food he decided three dollars worth of cheese wasn't worth it for him and you got upset with him because he made that decision about himself? He didn't stop your Bronzino. Your Bronzino came. He was going to pay for you, but you mad that he skimped out on something for himself? Sis, what, what are we talking about? And I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress. No, and Peter, the comment says it was $55. Mm -mm. I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant. And I texted him, the check is taken care of. You should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. So I ordered the Branzino, he got a burger, and then I had the Branzino, it was delicious. So I had my Branzino and he didn't get any cheese on his. And so after I finished my Branzino, 
I don't know if you guys are aware, but she got a Branzino. <laughs> I don't know why. After you hear so much bullshit from ladies, you just be like, bro, you just start tuning out some of the details and focusing on the things that don't matter. What do you think about this story and Branzino? Die alone. And to my guy, you dodged one. He did dodge one. I ain't gonna lie to you. He did dodge one. This ain't even that deep, y'all. This ain't even that deep. I think it's perfectly fine. I think, you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. The guy doesn't want to take $3 for extra cheese. And I understand that cheese in general, in general, is expensive. I can understand that you don't want to pay extra for cheese, $3. Actually, I think that it's a good thing. I think that it shows that, mm, no, you know what? I don't need to add the cheese. I'm going to be satisfied with the burger and the extra $3 and you add 15% 15 on the $3. Yeah, yeah, you got money, whatever, whatnot. I can understand that. $3 for cheese or for an item, I can understand that you don't want to pay that. It actually shows that you wash your money. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But you yeah. probably want to live lavish and have a Branzino. But all that to say, I don't think it's that big I don't of even a know what a Branzino is, y'all. That's where I'm lost at. Deal. And that makes you tune out. Good on you for paying the bill. That was your flex because you wanted to show him. Yeah, I show him I ain't cheap because I could pay $3 for cheese and I took the Branzino. Did you take the Branzino? We don't know. And you blocked him for that, I believe. Mental health. <laughs> Therapy, whatever healing you got to do, mental health. He, he died. Right. You paid for it. So that is the you paid for it. Good on you. If you would have walked out on the date, after you ate your Branzino and not pay for your Branzino, then we I would have a whole ass problem. But at least you pay for your day. So you can't even be that mad. She paid for the whole meal. You said, oh, okay, no cheese for you. Well, then no crazy for you either. Check, please. You and said, I'm think... crazy. Let me compensate you for your time. Enjoy your burger, sir. And you left. I, I don't think he's that, that bad. So, I, yeah, I do. I think it's up, but I still appreciate the fuck out of you just for doing that. Do you think I don't know that I'm crazy? I'm crazy. We know, sis. We know. Because the way you have handled the situation is crazy. You gonna walk out of a restaurant because a dude didn't buy, put cheese on his burger. Because he decided he didn't want to spend $3 on some cheese. But you still got your Bronzino. And I'm still wondering what that is. But you are taking it to a different level. No, you took it to a different level. You decided to put this on TikTok for everybody. You did that. You really need to take it easy. No one needs, you need to take it easy. Some people going through all of my videos, commenting that I'm ugly, that I'm a four, yeah. that I'm a two, that I don't deserve love. I should die alone. I should delete no, myself. I should no, myself. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. They shouldn't be doing that. They definitely going too far. But here's also the thing. We should not be opening ourselves up to people, to TikTok, you're opening it up to people. People are going to have opinions. There are hateful people on the internet. Everybody, you have to think deeper before you put everything on the internet. Everything ain't for everybody, okay? But no, they going way too far with that one. The girl just acted up on a date. I mean, come on, guys. Let's, oh, I hate that. That's a bit much. But the way that you start, don't you know? My girl, all you <laughs> commenting, you want accountability. She's accountable for what she did. She knows she's crazy. Going out of your way to call someone a four or two, or whatever, this and that, whatever, whatnot. True. That's a bit messed up. Going to all the video and this that you you deserve to you deserve to self delete yourself. Mm -mm. You in the same bin as her. Mm -hmm. It's like she don't you know I'm crazy? She's like yeah, I she 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 took it. Yeah. So I appreciate her for that. Well, no, no, you know, listen. There's too many people who think they just can say what they have and not treat it or deal with it properly and think that's accountability no no acknowledging you have a problem is not enough you gotta actually do something about your now he's right i don't know who this guy is but he's right he will say oh i, I have a, i have a temper or I, I know i can say things that are wrong or i can do this okay if you know you've got an issue work on it i'm tired of people saying they're taking accountability because they say they're crazy or they say they have issues but then they don't do anything about it. They go and sit in front of a therapist, but the therapist is just there for them to vent and they go back to being whoever they decide to be. No, it takes application. It takes working on it daily. It takes active doing steps, not just saying stuff. Problem. You can't just say, I have schizophrenia and I do what I do. No, no, stupid. You actually have to do something to treat your shit. You have to do something to mitigate it. No, accountability is not, I have a problem. What steps are you taking to correct that problem? It's not enough to say you're an alcoholic. That's not accountability, no. That's not okay in any way. Why are you taking this stupid video so seriously? 
I'm having a laugh about it. The guy is having a laugh about it. We're talking still and we're gonna go on a second date. Like he's, he laughed about it. He's a psycho like me and we're gonna have fun. I don't know who this guy is, but that's an L for you, bro. Yeah, it's that's, funny that's to me. Sometimes why. people do this stuff where they comment these things and they tell these stories and then they get mad when people feel any type of way about it. So, I, okay. Yes. You wanted it. You got the attention. Now that you got the attention, you don't like the kind of attention. Facts, facts, facts. Now you don't like the kind of attention and now you're trying to deflect. Oh, it's not that serious. We didn't really do anything. And now he wants to go on a second date. No, you saw the reaction that you got from doing what you did. And then you said, oh, I'm in the wrong I actually did act up. I am crazy. And so I'm going to unblock him and then say, I'm sorry because you realize how wrong you were when you opened your up, yourself up to TikTok world who reiterated how wrong you were or not reiterated. They told you because you didn't think you was wrong. You thought on TikTok people were going to be like, go girl. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. No, that's not what happened. They started tearing you up about it in the comments. Then you decided to unblock old boy and start texting him and saying, hey, my bad. I'm crazy. I'm sorry. Can I make this up to you? Don't deflect now. You needed other people to tell you that you were wrong. Is that attention that you got unjustified? Not really. You sound ridiculous and unreasonable. You do. So people are going to feel some time. Ridiculous and unreasonable. Very good. Way, you can't be mad about that. Now, the folks saying off yourself or whatever, obviously, that's too crazy. But the rest of it, that's warranted. I do I think everything back. <laughs> what? Everything I said, I take it back. I just listen to that shit like crazy. Yeah, I know that I'm broke. I'm a f student. I'm an unpaid intern. I'm broke. My wait, 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 wait. So you're broke? This is what infuriates me even more. You don't have money, and then judging somebody for being cautious with their money, sis. What are we talking about? This is what bother. Oh, y'all, let me keep. Let me just, just keep going. Rent is half of my paycheck. Then don't buy Brenzino. No, then don't take the cheese. <laughs> yeah, I think you should have taken that dude's advice. Maybe you wouldn't be so <laughs> goddamn broke if you didn't order that shit with cheese. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sick of poor people buying for shit like that's outside of their goddamn paychecks and then judging other people for trying to save money. That's your. Come on, that's what I'm saying. Like, I see these videos, y'all, of women going off on men for not taking them to five-star restaurants or doing X, Y, and Z when they can't even afford an Uber back from where they're at the restaurant. They over here trying to ask somebody to cash out their money so they can go home because they ain't got enough for an Uber, which is not what they're going to pay at this three- or two-star restaurant. They still couldn't afford that meal on their own. How can you judge somebody else for what you don't have? Like, how can you be bad at somebody because they're taking you to a certain kind of restaurant when you ain't got the money to go to that restaurant yourself? I don't understand that. When do we, have we become like so superficial? You don't walk out of a date because of $3? He didn't want to spend $3 on cheese and you going to judge him for that and walk out the restaurant and then on the other side, you say you broke and you ain't got extra money like that, but you going to judge him for saving his money? Come on now. What? That's a skill you should learn. You are a little poor ass. And look, don't get me wrong. If you broke, you broke. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not me shaming somebody, but don't be broke. And then make fun of somebody else for trying to save money. Excuse me, stupid. You're not, they trying to come out of their circumstances. You got true. something to learn. Yeah, that's not that's not your place for you. Yet. Have you been broke? <laughs> yeah, I've been broke too. Yeah. That's not true. If that person is trying, yeah, that's not your place. That's not you. You're not that person. Talk about making fun of a poor person because they want to buy payless shoes or whatever. <laughs> Let them pay for whatever they want to pay for. However, you got to save your money. Staying at home, do whatever <laughs> it is, save your money. But don't be out here. I'm shitting on other people and how they save money. I'm literally, I'm broke. And yeah, I have a huge credit debt. And I'm fine about it. I'm broke and it's going to be okay. And I make really bad financial decisions. <laughs> Why? I, you can't make this up. You're going to judge somebody else because they didn't want to spend $3 on some cheese when you don't have money yourself. A part of this whole culture, like a lot of people wanting somebody to be flashy and lifestyle, like if he paid for $3 on the burger, let's say, and he's just as broke as you and he's just making the same kind of financial decisions but putting on a show for you, you wouldn't have left the date. You would have stayed there and y'all would be making broke decisions together.
because spending money you don't have is a broke decision. So you over here judging somebody else for their, you know, trying to be conservative when you should be conservative, when you know that you're struggling with certain types of debt. And that's, we all, as students, we can relate to that. You know, college debt, I get it. I understand all that. But to then walk out of the date because of $3 worth of cheese that he didn't want to spend on himself. I've seen young women do this, like shame men because they didn't want to ball out and go to a restaurant that they just could not afford, but they still want to go somewhere and eat well with you. You're going to shame this guy, put it on social media in order to like make these guys look bad when all they're doing is, I want to take you out to eat. I didn't say I was going to take you to a five-star restaurant. Like, why is that such an issue? Why does it have to be, for what? It, Y'all, that's the part that I, I need help. I need clarification. Somebody need to, Jesus need to give me a sign or something to get me to understand why it is such a big deal where you eat. You know, you're trying to get to know somebody, right? Like, I, I don't know. And then it'd be this, the people that are so harsh about it and so judgmental about it are the people that couldn't afford the restaurant they want you to take them to. Like they literally can't afford it, but they want you to take them to it so that they can post it on their social media accounts and look like they really doing it on some type of level, whether they're doing it or they're with somebody that can do it on that level. Like I'm, I'm done with this video. Is dating broken? Yes. <laughs> It's broken. It's broken. And I'm trying to figure out how we can fix it, Lord. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you guys can be kept updated on my stuff. I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, y'all. Let's not just be every once in a while. Let's become family, okay? Friends that are family. Okay, join my family today.